Next up, we've got some salsa. Let's quickly run through the steps and get cracking. We'll start with our cross in front to the corners, and we're going to do four of each of these first four variations. We'll go directly in front as well for four, like I said, and then we'll also take it behind, cross behind, keep the heel up at the back as you open out, that's an open rock, and then take it behind for four. From there, we'll go straight into a salsa run where we come forward twice with the option of lifting up. You can keep it a flat foot if you want, or you can lift up. We'll do two sets coming forward and two, two sets going back, twice over. And then we'll finish up with forward and back alternating, forward on the right, back on the left, and once again for four sets. So keeping it really quite straightforward and hopefully uh, making it easier for you to follow. All right, let's give it a go to music. <clears throat> So try and keep that count of three, pausing on the fourth count. Keep it very grounded and into the front of the foot for the most part. Are we ready? So crossing in front to the corners. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. Forward, four. Open. ready for some Paso Doble. Let's look at our moves quickly. We're going to start with our supplies on the spot. 
This is the one where we want to try and keep those heels off the ground if we can. And Paso Doble is one of those styles that we really want to make our arms strong. So imagine you've got working against resistance. So you're pushing the arms up and pushing them down. Imagine that you're dancing in water is a good way to do it. So you're pushing the arms through the water and you'll get more of a workout in your arms. Okay, so the splats on the spot, we have four of those. We're then going to do our traveling splats. It's the little side steps. We've got the double clap at the top after you've done four to the right and again at the bottom to the left. We'll do two sets of our traveling supplies. Try and keep on the toes and uh, heels off the ground. <clears throat> From there we'll do the flamenco crossover. Now you may be a little bit restricted in the space so you might want to make it a little bit more compact if you need to. Uh, this is the one where we cross in front and behind. In front and behind we tap and lift up and then the other foot in front and behind, in front and back. I'm keeping the heels off the ground so making it easier to get that movement and we will have two sets of that. We have the slow caping step, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, across and side replace. So we're going to do eight of those and swapping the arms as if we're holding a cape. Last move. Today, we've got the walk and point. We're going to come forward for four steps, point the right foot to the side, swap to the other, and then feet together, take the arms back. We'll go back for four. Again, feet together, right, swap left, and back. Two sets of your walk and point. Right, left, and back. One, two, three, four, right, left, and back to the beginning with our surplus. All right, let's give it a go to the music. Excuse me. So right foot's going to start on the spot. And five, six, seven, eight. Up. Down. Up. Two more. Travelling surpass to your right four. Again, and back, get ready for our flamenco crossover, continue this way, front, behind, in front, and tap, in front, behind, in front, and back, tap. Slow, keeping step, across, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Keep it going, four more. Walk and point forward. And back. Again. Point, point together, and back. Point, point, surplus. Back to the beginning. Heels up. Firm in the belly. Push those arms up. One more time. Traveling spas to the right. And again. Get ready for my crossover. Right foot in front. Here we go. Front. Behind. Lift up, stretch. Again. Slow, keeping step, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Keep going. Two more. Walk and point, coming forward. And back. Right, left, together. Right, left, together. Last one. We're back to Sablas again. Here we go. Up. Down. Two more sets. Travel Sablas to your right. Double clap. Flamenco crossover, front, behind, front, 
I'm back, top, front, behind, front, I'm back, top, front, behind. Last one. Slow keeping step, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. I've lost count, so we're going to do two more. And walk a point, counting forward. Point, point together, and back. Again. Last one. Nice beginning, surplus. Keep it going. Four more, oh, sorry, two more sets. Travis surplus to your right. And back. And again to the right. And back. Flamenco crossover. From behind. Stretch. Again. Last time. Near the end. Slow caping step. To finish. Well done, that's your Paso Doble. It's time to dance the waltz again. This time I'm not going to recap the steps. Hopefully you still remember them or they may vaguely be up there. So let's dance it to music. It's time to dance the waltz again. But this time let's just make it a little bit trickier by changing some of the arms that we use with the box step. Now, initially we did the first time through with the hug position. So we're gonna look at doing some options with the arms in hold, and also taking the arms up slowly and down. They're quite challenging to do, so we're gonna just give it a go and see how you get on. Of course, feel free to stick with the hug position if you want to, uh, and when you feel more comfortable with trying the other variations, please do so. All right, let's give it a try to music, here we go. So, we'll do the first one in hug position, just like we've done before, but after that, that's where I'm going to mix it up. So, ready, keep those shoulders down, slight bend of the knee as you drive forward for the box, right foot, here we go, and it's forward, two, three. Two more sets. Rotary box. So remember you can keep your feet in contact with the floor or if you wish to, you can lift up the inside leg, down, lift up, down, lift up, back to beginning. This time I'll do the arms in hold for my box, forward, right arm up to start with, two of this and then swap over. You want to get those both arms working. Rotary box. Keep those shoulders opened up. Let's take the arms behind. Bombshell for four. This time we go for a box. 
gradually going to take the arms up. So take them up and bring them down. Take them up and down. Up and down. One more time. Rotary box. Shell. Into the hover. Last time for eight. and hold again. Forward, right arm up. Change arms. And we're going to finish up with the rotary box. One more time. Keep going. One, two. your waltz. We've got just one more dance to do before the end of the session and I thought that we would repeat the Bollywood. Now this track is slightly longer and also faster so I hope you're ready to finish with a good workout. Here we go to music. So same routine as before. We're going to start with our swim to the side four times over. Five, six, seven, eight. Swim. Other way. And again. To the corners. Push up. Repeat again. more 
and into a light mode. Here we go, on the run. Look out, to the hand. Sliding up and down. All right, one more set. Nice beginning. Here we go. This time, no cues. Let's see what you remember. routine. I hope you feel like you got a good workout and didn't pause too many times. I hope you enjoyed the fitness class that I've just done with you. Don't forget you should have a cool down now as well. So do go to the cool down videos where I've got some stretches and help you to wind down at the end of the session. I'm not going to include that in this video as there are the other ones available to you to do. But I hope you may enjoy the session and I look forward to seeing you next time. Now both this fitness video and the dance class video for the waltz that I've recently posted are promotional videos for you to have a chance to see what the class is all about. And hopefully if you enjoyed it, you might want to do some more. These other videos are going to be posted privately. So if you want to do any more sessions like these two, then please do get in touch to sign up. The email address is Strictly Dancing with Lisa at gmail.com and don't forget there's more information about this package on the website which is strictly dancingwithlisa.co.uk so if you've got any questions at all just ask and i look forward to seeing you again soon thanks for watching bye